Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video and this is going to be part two of the cut the cord segment that I did. Uh, in part one, as we do a little recap here, I showed you the YouTube TV app on uh, my PC. Uh, now I'm going to show you something that is really going to interest you in cutting the cord and getting rid of cable. Today I'm going to show you a Google Chromecast or uh, Chromecast with Google TV. Um, let me pause here. I got to go get the remote. I forgot to grab the remote and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got the remote. Here it is right there. Uh, cute little thing, isn't it? All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to take the Chromecast and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Hopefully this should display on the screen. Now, um, disclaimer, um, if we see some video here on the screen, um, it might be copyright. I might get a copyright strike for doing this. Um, oh, well, it's worth it, though. At least you get to see it. Maybe it might come out okay. <clears throat> but all we're doing here, um, essentially, is we're just going to show you an example of the Google TV uh, Chromecast. Uh, like I said, my apologies if... I get a copyright strike for showing live TV. Hopefully the DRM will kick in. I'm not sure how it's going to work in OBS. I guess we'll find out. Now, as you can see, what's happening on the screen right now is it's booting up. Um, it takes, you know, a minute or so. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the picture that I'm seeing right now coming from the uh, capture card is just a little bit uh, faded than what it would actually look like. Um, on a decent, this might be the DRM in action. I'm not sure what you see here. Um, but here's our live guide uh, that we're going to navigate with the remote. Now, <clears throat> some TVs have Google TV built into it, um, which is awesome if you have a TV like that. Uh, some TVs have the Roku. Um, Roku, you can access YouTube TV with, but... They're kind of in a disagreement right now, and I'm not going to get into that whole thing with Roku. Um, I, I don't really take sides in it, but because of things that have happened, uh, Roku has lost me as a customer. That's all I'll say. I'm not going to say Roku's bad, but all I'm saying, because of this, Roku has lost me as a customer because of the whole TV. Now, like... Um, now, there are other options out there for live TV. Uh, as I had mentioned before, DirecTV has one. Hulu, I believe, has one. Or is it? Uh, I don't remember them all. You know, I'm not into that. I just went with what I went with. And I was going to go with uh, DirecTV Stream as well. But... Um, Considering what I wanted more out of it and what my wife wanted out of it, um, like I had mentioned before, we wanted Boomerang um, and we wanted History Channel. Now, we do have that on here. It's just an app that you install and we just, you know, pay for Boomerang uh, as a separate channel. Now, the History Channel we get, <coughs> excuse me, for free from our cable company and you probably will too. Uh, let me take a drink here so my throat doesn't dry up. You probably would, too. Um, most cable providers do offer that option as part of your Internet package where you do get these uh, channels. You just what you do is you log into your cable provider through the app. And it, I'm not going to explain that process. But, yes, it can be done. So you can get some of those channels that are missing uh, if it came with your normal cable uh, uh <coughs> package <coughs> sorry anyways so moving right along um so as you can see i've got the other uh services that we use like you know disney plus uh amazon prime video netflix installed on here but we're going to focus on television today uh because as i had mentioned uh before you know you do live tv with this so let's go ahead and there's a couple ways to do that starting up on top if you have google tv on your TV or if you have a Chromecast we'll, we'll, or getting a Chromecast or thinking of getting a Chromecast, make a great Christmas present, uh, we'll kind of start from the basics at the top here 
when it comes to just TV. The rest of the stuff you could explore on your own. That's what it's all about, right, people? But anyways, starting at the top here, it's usually what it's going to start out at is the For You section, which is, you know, we're not going to get into how that all gets uh, filtered out and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, so there's a couple ways to get to the live TV. One is to go over to the Live section here and scroll down. Now, you will have to sign into your uh, YouTube TV account, which is separate from your YouTube account, just so you know that. <clears throat> or... When we go in, oh, let me go up here, back to the For You section. If you just scroll down, you just find the YouTube TV app, and you can click on that, too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on that with my uh, handy-dandy remote here. And like I said, I, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for doing this, or maybe that, we'll see how the pictures turn up. Um, like I said, uh, so here's our live uh guide over here on the side it starts out at home you just click over to the right and it automatically goes to the live guide now you can actually rearrange this guide you could do it with the app on your phone you could do it with the uh app on your uh computer and rearrange this guide you can remove channels move channels up move channels down however you want it now which is something that i did personally for mine is i moved the channels um we'll see here and, and kind of situated how they're like, uh, uh, like our local channels is, I think this is like three, that's nine, that's 14. I don't know, but they were, they were kind of different at first, but anyways, um, and I took out a, a lot of the sports channels. I did leave some of them. Um, but, uh, I'll give you a look here at some of these channels. Now we'll go to South Park and see if South Park gives me a strike. I'm going to go ahead and push play on this. Uh, so it'll play the live now i don't know if this is going to display on the screen or not i guess we'll see i i see it in front of me i'm not sure if you guys see it but there we have south park playing live now i can just push the back button on my remote here right below the little oop let's we'll see if we can get in the camera there push the back button there and that should go right back to where our guide was and we can just scroll down and go through all the channels and stuff just like you would like a TV. And it tunes pretty fast. You notice I click that. And it will. It'll tune pretty quick there. I, like again. Again I don't know if you're seeing the picture or not. Uh, I guess we'll see in the final cut. But. Um, it tuned pretty quick there. That's a music video of course. Uh, we'll go to. Spongebob. Let's see if you see Spongebob. Okay. And the thing about uh, kids shows, um, I don't know if you've seen that message there. It said, uh, we'll go back to it again. Let's see if I can read it real fast. Uh, anyways, it pauses during kids shows. That way you can go back to where you left off whenever you're on a kids channel like Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. Let's see, we can go to Nick Jr. Here, or Nick here and I, maybe we can see that message again here. All right, there's the show. I'm going to pause or go back and we'll go off of it and see if we get that message. Oh, nope. Oh, well. But anyways, that's what it does uh, during the kids' channels. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll go kind of slow here so you can see this. What channels it offers. Now, you notice that the picture that you see on the... Uh, on the Chromecast doesn't move like it does on the PC like I showed in that first example but you do see the show playing behind you I'm not sure if you see that on the screen or not again this is video capture card I'm not sure what's showing but yeah so hopefully I'm not going too fast here I, I kind of want you guys to see what channels are available um, on YouTube TV uh, if you have a smart TV with the Google TV app or again a Chromecast with Google TV so it's, it's a pretty good selection like I said there was only a couple of them that we missed and I noticed um, you know I see it scrolling on Facebook I don't know how much I would trust it there was like a this one service it was like I think six bucks a month but it added some of the stations that uh, YouTube TV didn't. I was see, I was almost thinking of going on with that one too. Um, 
the nice thing about this is you are not under any kind of contract like you would be with a cable company. Like, you know, well, they've got a promotional, uh, of course, and there's our final Sports 4K is my final channel. I'm sorry why I'm babbling there. You know, they have promotions, of course. I think it's 14 day for YouTube TV. And uh, so you're not under any obligation. You're not under any contract. And there are other options out there that actually might be cheaper for you. But, um, yeah, I really do encourage people to cut the cord. Let me actually go back a little bit here. Back again. Actually, I guess I, I could have just pushed the home button. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's um, one thing that uh, you should really, really look into if you are uh, a uh, Google TV user is cutting the cord if you haven't already. Um, try it out. Um, the, the only disadvantage <clears throat> that I've seen so far is there's no numbers for the stations. Uh, not too much of a big deal, you know, unless you're in a real quick hurry for a station. But then again, the uh, Google app will actually take care of that for you. And that's what I'm going to show you next here. We're going to go back to live. Okay. And we'll scroll down here and we'll just start watching South Park again. Okay. So right now we're watching South Park. Um, since we don't have access to a, a direct access to our channel with the clicker, we can actually just talk to it. And that's what we do with this gray button here. We just say, change it to ABC. See right there on the screen? And then boom, we are now tuned to uh, ABC and watching the news. So that's pretty neat, huh? Now, well, not only that is... Uh, if you use like the Google Nest stuff like that, you know, which, which is like Alexa. I'm actually in the process of getting rid of Alexa just because, um, well, everything in my house is it Google just by <laughs> just because it is, you know, no hard feelings toward Alexa. I like Alexa, but um, yeah, that's just kind of how my house is kind of evolving is all google stuff and uh chromecast is a great uh integration into the house uh that you know we can pretty much cast on any tv in the house or you know watch tv on wherever there's a screen in the house if there's a tablet a phone or you know you know whatever it's nice and plus you have that portability which is another benefit of doing a complete cord cutting um I've seen lots of truckers and stuff. I'm friends with a bunch of them that, I mean, they, that is like the number one thing I tell these guys, buddy, get yourself a Chromecast with Google TV on it and take that out on the road with you, with, with yourself, man. And as long as you got yourself some good internet or a good provider, you're going to have yourself some TV, man. Get yourself a little Chromebook, 14 inch, 15 inch, you know, something like that, man. You got yourself a TV wherever the hell you are as long as you got a signal you know uh <laughs> and i'm so glad that uh the internet's kind of uh evolved to that point where we can do that because uh yeah we got the cable bill for this month and my daughter is actually the one that pays the cable bill that's her responsibility because this is actually going to be her house but anyways uh so 90 bucks that's it and that's all it is every month and we got a 250 up 250 down connection uh all you need is like 100 meg 50 meg you know you'd be paying a lot less than i am even so keep that in mind cut that cord i mean i know people that are paying two three hundred bucks almost for cable and internet you know cut the cord all right guys that's gonna be it for this one um i'll talk to you later let me close this up right here um got another build coming up uh, i guess whenever it comes up maybe this weekend i'll start working on one i don't think i'm gonna have any videos out uh for a couple weeks till i sort out all the parts and what i want to do and what have you but uh i'll talk to you guys later and uh i'll see you in the next one bye bye